What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We finally got back into a planner today. Today is uh May the 13th. And uh <clears throat> gonna try to get some ground planted today. Uh, I'm on my way up here to the grain bins. We're gonna try to plant that. We're gonna try to plant as much as we can. I mean, I ran late last night. Uh, we started back last night. And, uh, woo, sweet corn don't look too good neither. It looks rough. But, uh, we ran late last night. About 10.30 when I come in, we tried to plant, uh, planted all that out there on the ridge. Uh, got all that planted. So we're on our way now up here to the grain bins. They're giving rain just any time. I mean, just scattered showers, rainy time. So uh, we're having to hop, skip, and jump around trying to find somewhere to plant. It's getting crunch time now. Uh, yeah. We're just in a pickle. Everything looks like crap. We've had no sunshine. We've got a lot of grounded out stuff. Uh, just like the sweet corn right there. It looks terrible. It looks terrible, but nothing you can do. Uh, I've got corn that looks terrible. It's grounded out. Uh, can't even get it. You can't even get in there to replant it is the thing. It's so wet. It's crazy. It's just been one of them springs to where it's been a freaking disaster. Everything has been a disaster. Uh, I don't care who you are or where you're at, you can't take six inches of rain in, in two weeks. You just you can't do it. So we're gonna go up here to these grain bins and see if we can't plant this uh, 50 acre field in cotton. I hope I can plant it all and I have to box nothing out. But it's just, I don't know. Everybody's in this shape around our area right here. It's just a muddy, muddy mess. Shut up, tractor, I get it. But uh, we broke the closing tail wheel off uh, yesterday. Pulled it in the shop this morning. We. We broke the boat off up in the shank. So uh, we pulled it up in the shop this morning, heated it up, and got the boat out, put a new boat in. Uh, the hydraulic dampener broke off the back back here again yesterday. Luckily I had a new bracket, so we put that back on there this morning. Just crazy, crazy things happening and just crazy weather. But Y'all can see it's cloudy and overcast. It's crappy, crappy weather. But Pablo and me goes on our way up here in the gator. I actually see them up here in front of us. So let's get up here to crank bins and uh, get unfolded and get started. Boy, if it was all smooth running like this right here, it wouldn't take no time to plant this cotton. Uh, we're sitting up here rolling along about seven mile an hour. Planter sitting back here just gliding across this ground. Easy planting. That's what kills us all these little bitty 40 and 30 acre patches. All you do is spend all your time turning around. Migos on this end checking things. Pablo's on the other end checking things. Just making sure we ain't dragging no roots or chugs because we cleared all that hill back there years ago and they still chugs coming to the top of the ground. But it is planting really, really good. This cotton will come up screaming or two. That don't mean nothing. But we got pounded. I mean pounded with rainfall. I mean I've never seen it rain that hard that long. Uh, we got a bunch of storm damage up here. We got two big oaks down right there that we left out of that fence row. Uh, there's a bunch of trees down all back through there. 
we're gonna have to bring a wheel loader up here and get all them up. Cause there ain't no way we can get them up by hand. Y'all can see them two big pin oaks right there. We're planting DPNL 2317, if anybody wants to know. We planted 2211 before this. to be DVNL. Y'all know that. And all of it will be the Thrive on. Trying to combat with these thrips. We fight them every year. Them dang western fires. They are brutal. They don't play fair. You can put all the freaking ore thing on them you want, and they'll just laugh at it and keep it coming. Been using Radiant. And uh, it seems to hold them down pretty good, but y'all know it's very expensive about spraying it. Uh, fun fact, we are planting on this ground right here was plowed with the moldboard plow. Uh, we plowed a big section right through here just to see if we could tell any difference. We done it back, back in the fall. Y'all remember us plowing a little bit. See if we can tell any difference. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is extremely wet here again. Y'all can see the lake is full again. Uh, knocked us out of planting. We're going to try to go out of here today and uh, spray the rest of this corn and try to get some of this cotton spray caught up a little bit. We're giving heavy rain here again tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, guys, this is shaping up to be one hell of a spring. Uh, it rains every two or three days and, and when I say it rains, I mean it rains a lot Every two or three days. It's bombarded us Seven tenths out of that last one It's just we can't catch a break Can't catch a break Corn's in a mess. Uh, Chiala has no color, has no root system. Just looks freaking terrible. If we can bring this corn crop back, man, I'll look like a hero, but I don't know if I can even bring it back. But we're gonna try on some of it. Some of it is uh, drowned it out. Some of it's filled in with dirt. It just looks terrible looks terrible uh what cotton is up looks real good but everything has wet feet and it's cool at night not helping matters mucho rain all right guys we got the rest of the corn sprayed like i said we didn't like but a load and a half so we got it sprayed we mudded it in it's just a freaking mess. I mean, that's all you can say. It's a mess. It's a mess around here. It's muddy. Everything looks like crap. It's just terrible. Uh, Y'all can see how wet it is. It's just wet. But uh, we're on our way out to the ridge. Uh, we washed the sprayer out. Got all the uh, atrazine and all that crap out of it. Uh, Atrazine's hard to get out of a sprayer, but if you'll get it right out, as soon as you get done, it'll come right out. If you don't, you're gonna have a mess. And the only way to get Atrazine out is with WD-40. It works like a charm, guys. Um, you can actually pour some WD-40 in here and run it through the solution tank, or you can get inside the tank with a rag and WD-40 and get it off. You got two options. I've done it both ways. But 
but we're on, like I said, we're on the way out here. We're gonna spray this cotton that we planted two days ago uh, with Gramoxone and Reflex to try to kill what grass and crap is out here and uh, lay down a pre-emerge, which is Reflex, to help combat with some of these pigweeds. Uh, it does help. Uh, it will burn the cotton a little bit if it splatters up on it, but that's just the option you have. But y'all can see how grounded out that stuff is. Uh, this looks terrible. It's just one of them years to where everything looks like crap. good. But hell, like I said, it's supposed to, we're supposed to get bombarded tomorrow. Corn looks pretty good across the road. Living off of nothing but what the planter is. It's pretty good. Won't be long, we'll have to give her a shot of nitrogen. Boys are going to fill me up and I'm going to send them on. I'm going to run this load right here out. That should catch us up with the planter. Should. Theoretically. That way we'll be ready for the flood tomorrow. Because it don't take much. Super wet. How much did we go? That's got everything caught up, uh, spraying with the planter. <clears throat> now, we wait on another big rain in the morning. Y'all see how wet it is. Yard's still full of water. It's just a muddy, muddy mess. That's all you can say. It's been one hell of a spring. It's about kicked our tail, I know that. So, we'll watch the weather. What I've been seeing says it'll be here about 9 o'clock in the morning. So, if it's not, we're probably going to load up some more. 
and spray in front of the planter and spray as much of this crap as we can get sprayed that way we can just jump on the planter and plant that's what kills me i had to plant a little bit and then spray a little bit plant a little bit spray a little bit i mean it's it's not like a i'm a hired guy just to run a planter you know, i gotta play musical chairs and keep it all caught up but she has been one wet muddy spring i can tell you that all right guys welcome back uh we went out this morning and we sprayed a bunch of cotton ground i didn't film any of it because y'all seen us spray before that's boring to me but we're back on the planter uh down here in alabama trying to finish this farm up planting real good planting into a stale seed bed and uh it's flat laying it down and we're just easing along here. This old ground washed bad, them old big rains. But I'd rather plant in a stale seed bed is to work it back up. Hand you find folks off Pablo, maybe he'll get a little footage for you. So let me get a little footage. I'm gonna lay these hands off. You have to pull the gator over. Okay.
put some more seed in here. This is DPNL 2211. We got our Mary Stem seed treatment here. Pull these tabs. Shake her about. Disperse her stuff in there when it pops up. Yep. Might run her dry, didn't it? finished up down there in Alabama uh, it's about 10 o'clock uh, the next farms I'm going to it's got some trees down on it we're going to get them trees up first thing in the morning or right, go on over at night and start on it tonight uh, also some of this needs to dry up a little bit more we gotta get cracking So uh, we're gonna get up early in the morning, get on the loader, we'll push these trees out real quick, and then all I have to do from that point on is just plant. Uh, I got to do, got to spray my sunflowers, get them cleaned up, and I uh, got to spray out one more load of Moxone um, in front of the planter. So anyhow, we're gonna head to the house, and uh, I got a car coming. So uh, yeah. See if he can get on by. But anyhow, we're gonna head on to the house, see if we can find us something to eat. Wash your nasty hands. Get up and do it all over again in the morning. So I guess we'll see you guys first thing in the morning. How about that?